So, uh, I made a video talking about some of the changes already uh, that have happened in, or that are going to happen, excuse me, in the new Classic Fresh and uh, in Hardcore. There's more stuff that I didn't get to in that stream because I was just super busy and I had to end stream. So we're gonna talk about a little bit more stuff and there's also the realm names, the server names for the new, uh, the new Fresh servers have been announced. So we'll take a look at that as well. I haven't seen that at all, but let's begin. The title of this post on Wowhead is War Mode Style PvP Faction Balance is Coming to Layers in Classic Fresh. So, for those of you that don't know what War Mode is, uh, War Mode is something that they added into Retail WoW a while Cut. back. I need more emotion, more rage. Also, give me a nice thumbnail pose. Louder and with your... W <laughs> happier and with your mouth more open. War Mode style PvP faction balance coming to layers in Classic Fresh! So, for those of you guys who don't know what War Mode is, War Mode is something that was added into Retail WoW a couple expansions back. Uh, whenever they decided to get rid of the idea of PvE and PvP servers and uh, essentially have it be an option in the game where you go into war mode and you're basically in PvP mode. You're on a PvP layer, on a PvP shard. What ends up happening is you get like a, a you get like bonus XP or bonus reputation. There's some there's some added bonus to playing the game in war mode. I'll be honest with you, and it, it, probably if you're a classic WoW player, seeing something like this as, as, the, as a headline it's probably kind of scary. Now again, I haven't read through any of this. I don't know why. I like having like a, uh, I, I like live reacting to things. So so I haven't really read through it. I just kind of saw the title. Um, so maybe maybe it's not as scary as it sounds. But we'll get into it a little bit and, and, and see what it is. Uh, as an additional measure to improve the PVP realm experience, senior game producer Tom Ellis has announced a slightly experimental feature for Classic Fresh. Good guy, good guy, Tom, good guy. This feature will attempt to maintain a faction balance for individual zone layers. Ideally, this would lead to a roughly 50-50 balance of alliance and horde in any given contested zone, through, uh, though time will tell. A secondary change is that layer hopping will be more heavily restricted on PvP realms. This is an intentional change to discourage players from purposefully flooding a zone. Uh, this probably has something to do with... This probably has something to do with even from the beginning of Sod, right? Where everybody would try and stack onto one layer to do like the big Ashenvale fight. The post, I mean, just one of many, right? But that's just one example. The post also reinforces that this change comes with a, a lot of unknowns and it's not even finalized. This means that this might not even be a permanent change or the final version of this system. So uh, if, if you've watched a lot of my videos or, or if you've like seen my streams and stuff over the years, you kind of know how I operate and kind of what I generally believe about how things should be done. Just do it. Send it. You know, if, if it doesn't work, go back and fix it, correct it. This is something that was so good about, as a, as a former private server WoW player, one of the things that was really good about private servers is that these guys could go and they could be very agile. Very quickly, they could be like, okay, this is broken, let's fix it. Okay, this doesn't work, let's fix it. And they would get real hands-on, get in there, fix it as best as they could. And if it doesn't work, if it's not a good idea, then they say, okay, that sucks. And then they, they find a way to fix it. Now, there's pros and cons to this, right? If they're bad at making decisions, if, sorry, if they make a lot of bad decisions, <laughs> or if they're, honestly, or if they're bad at making decisions, then this is something that is probably not gonna work. Now. A good thing about this is that, uh, I mean, this game's been around for so long that it's not like super difficult to understand, at least I don't think it's super difficult to understand the, the core design of what makes Classic WoW Classic, I would think. But who knows, actually. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you, you can really go through and you can, you can make changes as you need, right? They did it on private servers, I think Blizzard can do it as well. Let's continue. Foibles. Hey folks, actually, let's, let's read it here. I want to drop by and let you know about a new, slightly experimental feature that's coming with patch 1.15.5. Anniversary Realms launching on Thursday. As many of you will know, with Season of Discovery, we implemented a system for PvP rule set realms that restrictions that restricts that restricts faction creation when one faction becomes dominant. They wanted to maintain good balance between the two two factions on a server. The system worked fantastically for keeping one faction from snowballing and has maintained a healthy balance throughout Season of Discovery. We've excuse me. We've already announced that this feature will be enabled for the anniversary PvP server, the PvP realm. But one of the consistent pieces of feedback was that a faction-balanced realm does not lead to a faction-balanced world due to how long the layering system handles player load. With 1.15.5, PvP realms will attempt to balance faction at both the layer and the specific zone level. What this means is that if one faction exceeds our balance threshold, 
any additional players attempting to enter that zone will instead transfer to another layer. Well, hold on, isn't that something that already happened? PvP realms will attempt to balance faction at both the layer and the specific zone level. What this means is that if one faction exceeds our... Oh, no, it didn't do that before. Before it was like the different layers were basically like copies of the server. So now it's saying they're going to have like layers and then sub layers per zone. So are people going to run cross zone and then half... If you have a big PvP fight cross zone... Are people gonna like run into like Blackrock, like like Searing Gorge from the Badlands and there's like a big war that's about to happen and then half the people just disappear? There was instances where that would happen anyway because it would like force movie to another layer. This system will work much like our war mode system in The War Within where we balance as many copies of the zone as possible and eventually any overflow of one dominant faction will end up on a one-sided zone by themselves. <laughs> as part of this change, we're also going to heavily restrict players' ability to layer hop on PvP realms, and you will face a much longer cooldown before the system will allow you to change layers again. That will also ramp up with each successive layer change. The idea behind this is to try and maintain these layers faction balance and discourage a mass influx of multiple raids of one faction trying to flood a specific area. What? What? No, we would never. We, we would never do that. What? Season, uh, sorry, phase one of Season of Discovery, that's literally all we did, and, uh, and Ashervale was great. Uh, whenever we make a change, like, um, well, actually, to be fair, it wasn't, like, super great. It was fun, but it was, like, kind of nerve-wracking. If you had to do that all the time, and you couldn't even play the game, but it was kind of fun, like, the first time we did it. Uh, whenever we make a change to these sorts of systems, there are a ton of unknowns around quite how well it will behave once real humans get involved. Well, I mean, real, are you guys real humans? Do we have real humans here? Chat, type one of you are a real human. We will be closely monitoring how this feels in game and will make changes or outright disable the system if ultimately leads to a negative play experience. Based. Based. See, this is what they need to do. This is what they always should have done. This is, this is how I feel like classics should have been treated from the very beginning. And it's, look, get in there and just, hey, we're just going to do it. I don't give a damn. And if it doesn't work, you're like, oh, shit. Okay, fix it. Saved. We'll be closely monitoring how this feels in game and we'll make changes or outright disable the system if it ultimately leads to a negative play experience. We're excited to see how this plays out and the carnage it may lead to. <laughs> One final warning, however, please be very confident that you want to engage in player versus player combat in classic era, including the anniversary realms, as this time around there will be no escaping the other faction by switching to a layer that is dominated by your faction. If you sign up for PvP this time, you're signing up for everything that entails. Whether you roll alliance or horde, good luck. We'll see you on the battlefield. So there's two there's two parts to this. Right, this uh, this title right here, War Mode Style PvP Faction Balance, coming to Layers and Classic Fresh. I think this is uh, this is like a kind of a title that might like scare the layman. You know, somebody who doesn't really understand you know what what they're talking about. Uh, I mean, even for me, I read that and I was like, what the what is it like? What is you know you you read War Mode and Classic and you're like, that's not right. But really, War Mode has really nothing to do with this. Um, what they're talking about whenever they mention War Mode, it's the specific. Uh, how the tech works is similar to how the tech of like the, the shards and the layers and stuff in War mode and retail work, but it hasn't it, other than that. It's no, so it's just they're explaining the tech, right? You sign up for PvP at character creation. What the hell are they talking about? Uh, no, they're just saying that like it's gonna be harder to avoid PvP now here, which is leads me to my second point uh, the issue of like griefing and whatnot. I mean, they've already they've already taken a pretty hard stance against like the griefing. Like if if somebody's camping somebody for a long time, like that's considered a grief. Like you can't do that, right? And they've they've talked about that before. And people people have gotten knocked for it, right? Like it's again it, that's against TOS. So I, I I mean I think it's a non-issue personally for exactly that reason, right? They've already like taken a stance against it. But the solution in the past to try and avoid griefing would be to layer hop. Now you can still do it. It will just you'll just have a longer cooldown. I mean, I think, I think it's great. Throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Exactly. S-Fan doesn't know that he's going to end up falling in love with Shaman and he's going to end up hating Paladins. This will be kind of interesting to see. So my general thoughts on this is, uh, yeah. I mean, I talked, about the, I talked about the two key points there. Uh, one, oh, just kidding. Yeah, sorry. As I was saying, yeah, I, I, think, I think this is something that's kind of like, uh, it, it's kind of like a scary title, but it, this is really just the tech. Uh, the it's tech on the back end is similar to, to Warmode. you play. Wow. I, I mean, I, I've said this before, right? Like, uh, this is something that I, I feel pretty strongly about and it's there's a lot of things that I've done There's a lot of things that I've done in WoW over the years. There's a lot of stuff that I've done in WoW over the years uh, A lot of the key things not every single box has been checked that I want to accomplish in, in vanilla burning crusade But almost all of them have 
Uh, so if I ever go back to do WoW, I only really want to go back if I feel like it's going to be really engaging, really fun, good content. That's kind of how I feel about OnlyFangs. I think I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about the uh, the proximity voice. Being able to and and there's a bunch of role players, a bunch of GTA role players playing. So I think r turning it into a true role play thing, which I've always tried to do, is going to be so much. It, there, there's going to be so much less friction in terms of trying to take WoW and do like almost like the GTA RP style of role play. It's going to be very fun. Yeah, it's going to be very fun. I forward your feedback. We're in the title. Understandable. No, I mean, I don't think it's bad. I, I mean, I don't think this title is bad necessarily. And I don't think like I, I think getting getting upset about it because some people are dude. Some people are just so like they always think ah, uh, the media. You know, it's always, and it's like, look, sometimes, but not, I mean, I don't think this is like a, I don't think this is like an intentionally weird thing or anything that Wowhead was trying to do. It's like, it's a little bit clickbaity, but eh, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. It's guild only proximity chat. Yeah, but, but it's, it's fan. I, I love it. It's fantastic to me. Uh, what else? So there's been some talk about this. Uh, fresh classic PvP realms will enforce faction imbalance. Uh, yeah, we already knew that. So there's been some talk about this. So apparently there's going to be world buff items in Season of Discovery Phase 6. And I saw some people saying they should have this in Classic WoW for the fresh. And you know you know when you talk about the... This is the point in which you talk about like Slippery Slope. And I can't believe that phrase has been used nonstop for as many years as it has. Because I do think the Slippery Slope argument is stupid. You just need to have like... What you need to determine as a team who's working on the game, right? Like from, from like a design perspective. In order to stop the slippery slope conversation from from stifling development you need to find a way to be like what are the principles of the game that we want to rely on and you want to set that hard line there because if you if you can do that then i think that's how you just kind of nope slippery slope's not a thing yeah i i don't know i mean this is something for sod and it's just kind of like sod is sod right season of discovery season of discovery but i, I personally don't think that that this should be something they add into classic uh, the new Classic Fresh or anything. So it's like Classic... Okay, here's what's kind of happening. Classic Fresh, the new Fresh is turning out to be not Classic Plus. They are changing some things, but it's not like true Classic. It's not even Classic 2019. It's not like you have like Vanilla, which is like retail Vanilla. Then you have Classic, which is like 2019 Vanilla. Then you have like Season of Mastery, which was like question mark. Then you have Season of Discovery, which was like retail minus. And then now, whatever this new Fresh, this Classic Classic is... It's almost like, it's, it's not classic plus, it's like capital classic. I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Uh, okay, so the realm names, the server names have been announced as well. WoW Classic Anniversary Realms. New WoW Classic Anniversary Realms will go live on November 21st at 2 p.m. PST in each region, right? So I will be there, I will be playing. Uh, Thor and myself, Pirate Software and myself are gonna be leveling together. Moldar's Moxie, <laughs> and they back to the world buffs. <laughs> Fenga's Ferocity and Slipkick Savvy. Wait, these are actually good names. Savvy for Hardcore, Moxie for Normal, and then Ferocity for VV. To support, okay, but here's the, so here's the thing. In each region, the realms will be. I feel like they should not have had the same name for EU and NA. Now, they did this originally, didn't they? Like, wasn't there Illidan EU, Illidan US, Kel'Thuzad EU, Kel'Thuzad US. I like having different names for EU and NA because it's, we communicate so much across the two regions, like in, in a content world, that uh, whenever you're like, oh, I play on, I play on Illidan, or US or EU, right? It, it, it's, it's not that big of a deal, right? Uh, it's not a big deal. I just think it would have been nice if they would have had different names, but I really do like the names of these servers. Like Moldar's Moxie for normal, Fengus Ferocity PvP, and Slipkick Savvy Hardcore. I actually, I think that was clever. Now on the flip side of things, on the flip side of things, if you had NAEU, it's like, oh, well, these names are so good. Which side gets the names? You would have, like, what? The, the Anixia? You'd have, like, Anixia, War Chiefs, and Songflower. But those aren't as good, right? Moxie, Ferocity, Savvy. War Chiefs, Blessing for PvP. Rallying, Cry of the Dragon Slayer for Normal for PvE. And then Songflower, Serenade for Hardcore is what it would be. Thor was considering role-playing a healer uh, and some other class today and use bandages. I've been trading. Oh, role-playing a healer as another class. Oh, that's funny. Swap PvE and hardcore. Well, hardcore, rallying, cry of the dragon slayer. I feel like dragon slayer, PvE. You know what's funny? We always call them PvE and PvP realms, but PvE is normal. 
Uh, hey, S-Fan, is this your first time playing WoW? Uh, what is WoW? I've never heard of it before. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the changes coming up for Hardcore and the new Fresh. I do all types of different content these days, but I love Classic WoW. I will always love Classic WoW. If you guys want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And check out my stuff everywhere. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, TikTok, Threads, Christian Mingle, BlackPeopleMeet.com, Farmers Only. Everything is S-Fan TV, except for two new YouTube channels, Coach S-Fan for sports stuff and S-Fans Daily. Bye.